Oh shit! So it's Hearthstone Mercs. Let's see how you like it. All right, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to uh, one half of uh, video series. Me and T now Pope are starting up. I play a game he wants me to play, and he's going to play something I want him to play. And today he wants me to play some Hearthstone Mercenaries, so let's get started. I think you might actually like this one. You have a team of mercenaries as you battle for bounties and glory. Let's go. Takes a little bit. Looks like it's uh, <laughs> it's working. Trying to. Mercenaries who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. This is your chance to impress. Let's see what you can do. Damn. Oh, Giant rat. Dude, a rat. That's what you always know. Start out fighting, I guess. Every game. Rats are ladybugs. Especially with RPGs. I almost said you play EverQuest, but you've already played that. <laughs> I don't think you could have handled it, though. I wouldn't mind trying that out. So, what are your thoughts so far? That's pretty cool. Okay, I gotta keep that in mind. Got a little bit of uh, currency. Oh, they're both chicks. I think actually most of these, most of the characters, the starting characters are chicks. You might need a little bit of gold. You don't, probably don't have any, do you? I'm like 25, and uh, that's probably Jack Schneider, all right. For some reason, they uh, want you to have, like, I think you need, like, 200, 300 gold, but you should be all right. I think you can do it without it. Have you ever played Raid's Shadow Legends? Have you probably heard about it? I've heard about it a lot, but I've never actually played it. I've never played it either. They compare this to Raid's Shadow Legends, except this is like a little bit better. It's not like it's gotcha. Oh, what the hell? Some of them have special abilities.
Oh shit! Most of the marshmallows. Are these characters from WoW? Like you I feel like I remember Taronda. I can't a remember Taronda. Uh, Julia Blinker, whatever. So I'm not, she I'm not was, thinking of. She was uh, in uh, Warcraft Three. She was like. The love interest between Malfurion and uh, Illidan. But she's also the priestess of the moon. I guess she's kind of a badass in her own right. She's actually like... Probably in like the badass scale. It's probably Illidan, Taronda, and then Malfurion. Oh, shit. But actually, T Taronda's like... She like takes on like the moon thing in like the latest expansion. And she basically goes like homicidal. Just like tearing up shit in Shadowlands. Yeah, but the Merc isn't as cool as the. Uh, the Merc is actually probably one of the shittier Mercs, but she's all she's all right for the campaign. Zyrilla is pretty good though. What the hell? Pokemon shit. Uh, I thought I was gonna. I thought I was told me to attack, but I won't do that. So <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like you get double damage. Like, see the. It's like think uh, grass fire. Uh, Pokemon, yeah. It's exactly the same as like Pokemon, so fire, water, grass, same, same shit. All right. That's a really that's like my favorite ability of the characters I got. Damn the fucker Merlot's got 17 life? What the hell? Oh shit. He's dead. Almost done with the tutorial. Is uh, how does like HP and shit go? Does it go triple digits or anything? Uh, it does not go triple digit. It definitely goes. Usually you're like in sixty or seventy. I think okay. there's a couple rare cases where it's eighty, but that's at max level. It might go higher. This is like. And efficient. I like it. I want to say it just came out this <laughs> month. But yeah, it was on the twelfth. Hell scream! He's actually pretty decent. I don't think he's as good as uh, Carol Rome or whatever her name is, but she's pretty, or he's pretty good. But he doesn't heal himself like she does. But he like can uh, he can throw a punch. See, this has a lot of the currency stuff that you were talking about, FFRK, too. Alright, so you can only pick three and you gotta leave one down. Will the only three that are in battle gain experience, or does everything? Everybody... everybody gains experience, whether they're um, in your hand or deck or even if they die they still gain experience that's like the cool part about this good call I'm gonna, let's get to the point of mom because I'm gonna have to start thinking about this
Well, you, you, you thought it good because you got the, you put the counters out. Which I guess that's pretty easy, but like, I mean, that's a big deal. Like, most of it's like uh, making sure you have the counters and you don't have something that's going to get its ass kicked. Like, these things would tear up some mages. Oh, oh shit! What knowledge did this guys get on? It's cool. How, how, big, how, many, how many of these mercenaries am I going to be able to have? Um, you can have six in, like, your deck. You can bring six into, like, a dungeon or whatever at a time. Um, and there's, like, 50-something mercs, and they're adding some new ones next week. But, like, I don't have most of them. I didn't spend it. I'm going to do this free-to-play. I think I dropped like 500 gold on some packs, and I, I actually came out pretty good. Um, and there's like a currency system where you can just like keep running dungeons, and you get coins, and you can buy everything with coins, but you just you have to grind it. It's like a freaking grind. I'm hoping they add some stuff to the PvP. There's like a lot. Of, I haven't finished all the PvP stuff, but. Uh, you ever see the movie Rounders? Rounders with Matt Damon. No. Rounder. It's got Matt Damon and uh, Patrick Norton. Or no, is it Edward Norton? Patrick Norton was the guy in friggin' Tech TV. But anyway, uh, it's about... Mike, or, um, Matt Damon plays this poker player, and he he's in college, and he lives with his girlfriend, and then at the beginning of the movie, he, like, takes all... The, he took $30,000 that he saved up. It's, like, the money for his tuition. It's the money for his house pay... For his, like, his apartment, he takes it all, and he's like, he goes and tries to play Texas Hold'em with, uh, like, the most hardest, hardcore poker player out there, and they like, loses it all on one hand. So the rest of the movie is, like, he's fighting between his girlfriend, wants him to, like, never play poker again, and then his buddy gets out of jail, and he's like, come on, I need your help cheating at all these poker games. Anyway, it's called Rounders, and they, like, and then uh, he also has a buddy played by John Turturro, and John Turturro is kind of like, you know what, you can make a living at this, don't try to be a hardcore badass, just make enough money to survive on, and you could just live your life playing poker and not working, but his uh, buddy like gets him into trouble because his buddy owes money to the this other guy. Anyway, uh, they're grinding it out, and uh, grinding it out is like, just making it enough to survive on, and that's how I feel about playing cards. <laughs> uh, does that even that make sense? I know I get what you're saying. Like, don't get too greedy <laughs> and lose everything. Just like, uh, just get enough to like get by. Yeah. Well, it's one. There's one way to look at it. Um, holy shit, these guys get a lot of life. Well, you're gonna deal double with your uh, with your. Uh, I think they call them protectors. Like your your warriors. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll show you what their abilities are. Hmm. What's taunt? They have to attack her? Yeah, if they attack, they have to attack her. Yep. That's a pretty good ability.
Dude, counter attack. Hmm. So he's going to use that right away, isn't he? Yeah. You only have one choice with health scream, though. Ooh, that's a good idea. Wait a second. You can always change yeah. too. Before you, before you hit ready, you can change your abilities, or if you kind of figure out a strategy, however you want to do it. I think you should be good here, though. Hope getting a little bit of lag here. You still there? There? Yeah, I'm. I'm here, but your uh, your screen's frozen. Is the game still working? Ah, oh, shit. Or if you bring it back up, you should, I think you should have your, your stuff done and you'll have all your coins and stuff. The lost connection. Did you, did you see that? Yeah. Sometimes Hearthstone does that, unfortunately. I thought, I think it was, I'm not sure if it, it might have been my internet because my internet has been going in and out the past couple of days. Okay. Bringing it back up? Yep. Just keep it here. Man, there's been so many games on Game Pass that I've been wanting to play. But just been playing Blizzard game. I've been playing Diablo 2, Hearthstone, and uh, Heroes of the Storm. Okay, yep. Back up. My stream, are, my stream went none. Uh, naked for a second I had like all this Final Fantasy shit and like my face going because the game just ended and disappeared from OB OBS mm -hmm. like oh shit gotta get something up see that thirsty Anduin what's that see Anduin with like all ripped and do you remember when Anduin was like a four or five year old boy when WoW first came out. I don't know if you played Alliance or not. Was Anduin like the the human he was a leader? Human, he was a human kid in the original World of, World of Warcraft and you couldn't attack him. He was like this little boy with like a bowl cut. I think I read the uh, I read the uh, World of Warcraft comic books for a few issues and I think he was like the main character. His, he was like a man then. That was his dad, Varian Rin. Oh. Okay, they called well, him that... like the wolf or something. Oh, so shit, these are your... I mean, that reminds me, yeah. Do I only get to choose one of these? All of them, they're all yours. All right. That's what is this, 35 what? Those are coins, you use the coins to upgrade. And, um... If, once you have like a couple hundred or like up to 500, you can buy the... The hero with the coins. Much, with a little effort, They're better for upgrading, though. The heart of your operation. You have enough materials to construct a new building. Do it now. I don't run. I don't Evan, of course, is the first thing we build. You gotta get drunk sometime. Well, you gotta get your heroes like uh, D and D. Like everybody meets at the tavern, you get a party going. Uh -huh.
You can upgrade your abilities with that mercenary's coin. Try it now. Which one do you like better, the, the straight damage or the, the split damage? Yeah. Ooh, could the uh, could it be made faster as well? Is that a possibility? Some do, but I don't think these do. I don't remember if her abilities get faster. Or not. I don't think they do, but they might. Oh, yeah, but she knows you. They do not. So four damage. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is a tough choice. Would you rather do spread damage or would you rather do direct damage? Like a lot of, uh... Ooh, you know what? We'll go with this. Okay. Good choice. I went with the other one, but it doesn't... You'll eventually be able to upgrade the other one, too. Like, eventually you max everything out, but I haven't even maxed out any of my characters. And eventually you get gear, too, but you gotta do some shit for it. So you would, uh, drag that over into the party? Wait, what? Like, on the right? Or, like, go back? Pick up the card and put it over on the... Drag it into the right slot. Into the right column. I don't think this is party composition time. Oh, okay. It's like, I don't think I can drag it. You can't drag Zarella over to the right, or no? No, I can't. Okay. Alright, that, yeah, you're right. You're probably, you probably can't do it yet. As you can see, there's no shortage of work around here. You should build a task board to track what needs to get done. And avoid any future surprises. I don't like how, how the, this, this, this is obviously like tutorial city, but I like how it's based. It's got a, at least when I played it, it had a really mobile, uh, vibe to it. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, In a pack? In a hero? Whoa. Okay, let's do it. What do we gotta click on to do this? Uh, go back out. Go back to the, like the the camp. You'll need transportation to your next. Okay. Where's that mage? Oh shit! You got a donkey or a? It's a horse. The ultimate transportation solution: an organic quadrupedal velocity device. It's a horse. I asked for a portal. Good. Portals require time, not to mention costly reagents. Talent. You're getting addicted to a new gacha game, man. What the fuck? Oh, um, you can play for free. I mean, there's like, there's people that like max everything out just by playing, like running missions over and over again. So it is good to have some something new that I'm pretty into so far. Because, like, I mean, I do love FFRK and 14, but it gets a little bit... I'd, I like to have something new every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Well, this is pretty good. I mean, I haven't even finished the campaign yet. I just kind of, like, go on and do the dailies. I don't, like, for whatever reason, dailies are, like, kind of like my thing. I've only gotten to Winter Spring. But I, I don't play it, like, uh... Everything's coming up Millhouse. Oh man. Millhouse is is pretty funny. Oh 
almost got a full party. What? Okay. You have a giant rat you can uh, ride around in Warcraft once you, uh, if you ever decide to play again. It's kind of cool. Mhm. Mm it's a lot cooler than the old mouse or the. There was like a blue horse. They did for a Hearthstone promotion before. Okay. So what are you thinking about these cool wars? Mm. Dude, what is what's this guy's element? Those are fighters, so you can beat them with the red uh, protectors. The greys are like um, they don't deal extra damage. They don't take extra damage. They're just uh, uh, they're just neutral. They just deal what they deal, and they take what they take. These guys have death rattle. Huh? Yep, they buff quill bores by plus one. Okay. Plus one. So what's your uh, line of thought right now? Um, I'm thinking like, what is the best plan of action? Are you thinking quill bore, bore first? Or are you thinking like... Okay. Oh, uh, whoops. You should... oh. I messed up. There might be a resurrection portal. Okay, so if someone dies, they're not going to be able to fight in the next battle, huh? Unless you... There's, like, spirit healers in some oh. maps. They're, like, an uh, angel with wings. You can resurrect somebody. Oh, okay. And there's like no cost to like failing. Well, except for time. Oh shit. And he's dead. Don't like dinner. Now, what is this currency down here? What am I That's, getting um, with that? The scrolls. Those are your, yeah. like, um, season pass, or, like, I forget what, the, they're reward tracks points. Um, you get, like, a bunch of free shit for Hearthstone. Like, you play any Hearthstone. Basically, you play Hearthstone, you get that reward track points, and they give you free okay. cards and shit like that. Basically, gold currency to... Buy more shit. So I can pick a new ability for this dude? He gets a treasure, and that's a special ability that he'll get for the rest of the map. Okay. This is probably one of the cooler things that, uh, that you get to do. What's this two mean? It means that um, there's a cooldown of two turns, so you can only okay. use it every three turns. All right. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think they're both about the same. I guess it depends on what you... how you want to handle it. Mm. There is no resurrection now. Beast. Beast. Oh man, my god. That's just, that was my healer. My healer's dead. Okay. Well, think about what you got left and which one's better for what you got left in your team. I think you should be able to take either side, though. Oh, shit. Make sure you uh, check out what their abilities are. Yeah. Uh, so this guy bleeds himself dead? That's his ability? He bleeds you dead. Ooh, that makes more sense. Now, if something dies before you, uh... Before your ability goes out, it will just automatically kill it. Dude, that was, like, freaking magical. Oh, dead first turn. <laughs> Alright, everybody's level 5. Well, not no house. Oh shit. A little bit faster than the other ability. Pretty decent. Dude, that's exactly the one I would have taken too. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of healing. Gotta keep my guys alive, man, somehow. Now, does that other lady, the one that's dead, does she get experience too? She will, yep. Okay. Every hero you take will get experience. Okay. Same comp as you fought before. For the Alliance at Fountain. For a new.
Done. <gasps> you gained a little bit of reward track money, too. Now it's boss time, huh? Or let's see. Hmm. She's like the only. She's like the only elf I have, right? She's the only elf you have. Yep. That's kind of. That's weird that they have that elf ability. Because elves are more rare than alliance characters, but the elf bonus is lower. And I think almost all elves are alliance. I don't think there's me. Oh, snap! You're not going to tell me what abilities they have, or do they just not have... I think you gotta push, you gotta get everybody out, um, and ready. Yeah, they won't tell you what the abilities are yet. Got that nice alliance bonus. Very nice. Oh, you're trying to burn that guy down. Yeah, I could probably take the other guy down in two turns, but I'm going to get rid of this guy. For some reason, I thought his ability was more threatening. I think you can see their yeah, abilities now. The, the, both the same speed, it's random, whichever hits first, right? Yeah, for the same speed, right it's random. Home. Yeah, if it's like first question mark or like whatever, something question mark, it means it's random. Booyakasha! Nice. You did the right thing by doubling up the, the big shot. I guess it worked out. 
Mm hmm Kind of curious to see what, uh, what mercs you get in your packs. There's, uh, quests every day. Seem so like you get the currency like you do in FFRK, but there's I don't think they they don't throw around as much gear as they do in that. Yeah, there's like 20, 30 pieces of gear for each guy. Man, then then they all imbue different abilities and shit. Like right now in this, there's only three pieces of gear, but you you can just get them for for free. But you upgrade them with currency. I'd go back out and look at your, uh, get your quests. Got a full party now. Quick about out. We've done, mercenary. Okay, uh... Uh, dude, that was coming. They give you a free one. Nice. I think you can open them now. U.S. dollars is hidden. How much? Okay, four ninety nine. Okay, son of a bitch. Oh my, I'm gonna go broke. God damn it. I'm actually thinking about getting that one, but yeah, you got six packs. You can open up. All right, now here's the fun part. <laughs> Is this the Hearthstone card? Or what is that? That's a, that's a mercenary. Aw. Uh, Aw. Uh, you got some legendary coins. Hurtress. That's actually probably one of the better warriors. Now this is experience? Um, those are coins that you can use to upgrade abilities and eventually upgrade oh. items. But you can only right, have right. one item equipped at a time. That night elf is something you can uh, can put in your party swap any of those guys out. Man. Oh shit! Merc guy. Zarella. Mm -hmm. She's she's actually my favorite merc. On my teams that I got so far, I put her on all my teams. There's this uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode, and the movie they watch is uh, Merlin Shop of Mystical Wonders. It's like probably my favorite episode of the whole show. I've watched it probably 50 times, and uh, Merlin's wife is named Zarella in that. Okay, it's pretty funny. So if you get 500 of those legendary coins, you can buy. I think that it takes a while. Cherish. Mm -hmm. Do they all? Does everybody start at level one or what? Everybody starts at level one. You can re replay missions to do it, or like. To level uh, up. You could take like a, a team of high level characters into a high level map and they will get experience in the level fast. But then if, you, if your high level guys die, you're basically screwed. But they keep. Does that mean I have all the fighters now? What's the um, little achievement? In? It means you have like four or five fighters now. Like there's achievements for having so many. I think it's five. I'm guessing you have five now. Nice. 
Yes. Guff is a is a good one too. You've made great progress. Keep checking the task board for new missions. Once you find something interesting, gather your team and get to work. We'll speak again soon. Be quick about it. That's like a portrait. That's like an upgraded portrait for her. All right. <laughs> Rawl is a character in here. That's cool. Yeah, I don't don't remember much about him. So it's been forty five minutes. Did you want to keep going, or did you want to? I think this is a good time to stop. Okay. Kind of went through the basic tutorial, opened some packs. Feels like a pretty solid, pretty solid episode. Good deal. Let me check, uh... Okay, Final Fantasy is ready to go. I mean, you can do it totally free. Um... But if you like want to spend some money, the five dollar thing is probably the only thing I'd spend money on. What do you get for that? You get a free legendary and ten packs for five bucks. Ooh. So like, if you're interested, like if you're not, I would. Like a, what's that? Is, that like a, is that like a one-time entry level type like little? It's thing like a one-time thing. You can't. Yeah, it's a one and done. I'll probably buy that. I'd buy that. Yeah, if it's something you're going to play, that will, like, get you set up. And I'd check out the... Re you'll get reward track stuff, too. Okay. Uh, what the hell am I doing? How the hell do I get back to the... All right. Going back in. All right. I didn't freaking know how to how to do that. Do what? Share screen. Well, get out of your thing and into. Ooh. Okay, pulling that up. Gonna do the share screen. I actually, this is probably. Good time for me to go take a leak. I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. I'll get this. Uh, I'll get this going. This is going to be smoother.
Gotta connect to Xbox Live. What the hell is it? Exit. Why the hell is this giving me such shit? I guess just try to do it again. All right, I'm back. All right, just getting it going, and then I'm going to turn everything on. It's... It's acting freaking weird. It's like the screen... Also... Like the screen is, uh... In a weird spot. Like it's... It's like the full screen, but it's like... The splash screen is like... On the bottom of my screen. And like half of it's like... Where I can't see it. I don't know if that, if that makes sense. Um, kind of not following you. Like, imagine that it's, like, not focused right in. Like, imagine you have a projector, but the pro projector's, like, pointed, like, half on the floor. Okay. And then half of it's on the screen, but I'm, like, uh... I tried to, like, get my stuff set up. I'm just trying to get in it right now. See if it get the screen loaded. I just got, like, a, like a little logo. here because I tried to share screen and it just uh... like I got the Final Fantasy 8 screen I think I might need to change the uh... the screen resolution I think my resolution is too big and that's why it's not Getting some Final Fantasy music going. Okay, here it goes. I'm gonna share it with you. Okay, we're back. I'm raising the tail I play you play for this kind of series that we're doing here. That's kind of what I'm th I was thinking of something like that. I'm just doing a screen. Uh, I'm just doing a screen. Can you see it now? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of shit. Whoa, the
Yeah. I can see your OBS and everything. Is that what you're seeing? Are you seeing OBS, not the, uh... Yeah. Son of a bitch. Right, get into the game and change the settings to, like, windowed mode, maybe? That's what I probably need to do. Yeah. Can I, uh... Alright, yeah, game options, system, oh shit, that's what, it's like some kind of weird, uh, weird resolution. For like, if I had like a 50 inch TV playing. What? It was like, like double what my screen would allow. I can't even see. I can't see it. Like, I can't see the bottom to figure out what, uh... It's saying discard. I don't want to... Fuck. Why the hell was it so... That's what I want. There's like a button I gotta push, but I don't know what the... Do you have... Okay, I'm ch you see that I'm changing the screen resolution. Okay. And then I can't... There's like a button at the bottom that I gotta hit apply, but I can't get to it. Rick. Okay, let me let me see if I can't go to windowed. There we go. Alright. Frickin' finally finally got it to that was frickin' weird. Okay, well, I'm still seeing your OBS. Uh, let me let me change it. Why is it going on that screen? Right. There we go. How's that? Perfect. Now let's see if I can figure out how to get that onto my OBS. Um, I did yours on a uh, a screen capture or a window. I think it was. I think it was a screen or a window. Oh, it's the display capture.
Okay, I'm at the, the title screen. I'll wait till you're ready. Okay, just uh, give me two seconds. Got like a lion sword or like a lion dagger. That's a uh, necklace. Okay. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna take a bio break real quick while you get that set up. All right. Controller. Got all my shit set up. Just trying to. I've got, I've got it to where I can capture. I can capture it, but uh, it's showing like kind of like a lot of the Discord on it as well. I when I was streaming mine, I showed. The Okay. Well I mean, then, you can, like, uh, like I had the participants up, so like your your photo and my phone were in the rest. You can get rid of the photo and figure that out. Yeah. I just got the credits done. Yeah, we'll probably figure it out as we do it some more. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to get something for my head. The frickin' weather is, uh, it's bad. I think it's gonna be a cold winter. You really do? Uh, maybe. I don't. I remember the last couple uh, falls we've had have been like what they call the Indian summers, where they're just really warm. I mean, this is the coldest uh, October that I remember in a while. I mean, it was hot in the beginning of October, but it's like, it's going to be 40s next week. That's true. And I heard we're getting snow yeah, next week, too. Got it set up. No, I'm still trying to figure this out. Uh, you using OBS? Yeah. Um, like Discord just disappeared for from my selection here. I just did a and, display capture, and uh, that's what I used. I just uh, did the whole monitor, and then underneath the my monitor, I put the Discord, so if, like, the, the stream went down, it just showed the Discord thing.
guy kind of reminds me of, uh, the guy from Castlevania, the guy. Oh, okay. Is that what Belmont? Trying to get there as fast as I can. in the shit. He was into the, the animation. The animation was good. Oh man, why are you gonna be disrespecting me, dog? <laughs> Disrespecting both you and my Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm just doing damn this play camp here. Okay. You, you good? Just gotta push record and I'm gonna push record right. Okay. You good? God damn it, Windows. Just thinking about Windows. About XP. Okay. I'm not touching anything. I'm ready. I'm capturing. All right, let's go. Right. Should be good. New game. Gonna play some Final Fantasy. Got some water. Get ready to get ready to experience some story, baby. This is remastered, right? The water wasn't this good back then? Um, no, the the cutscenes are not remastered. But, it actually uh, looks pretty decent. I mean, it's not great, but it actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, dude, I mean, that's what... Th that was like, this was like cutting edge at the time. It actually... I mean, it's not great, but I mean, it holds up. The music. music? I mean, that's one of Final Fantasy's biggest strengths, that's all. I've seen her a lot before. Yeah, she's all over Twitter recently. I, I don't know what it's from, but memes. somebody read. What's that? Yeah. Uh, that's a gun blade. See, it's got a trigger on it.
Um, it's unclear, like, when you use them in, in battle, it kind of just, like, what I've heard some people describe it as, is like it vibrates the sword and makes it hit harder, when you pull also, the trigger. There's like actually no, bullets there. no, there's no, there's no bullets coming out of that sword. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little weird, but I think it's cool. Looks like he's in a hospital. Yep, well, I don't know how much I want to say. Alright, yeah, don't, don't spoil, just like, yeah, say stuff that isn't spoily. Um, my forehead kind of hurts from that video. Like, <laughs> someone was bleeding feathers. Oh my god. Okay, eyes are focusing. Him. Fair enough. No, I was gonna call him. No, I won't do that. What? I was gonna call him Weebster, but there wasn't enough letters up. I don't think there's enough for C now, Pope either. Is S Pope? I'll, you know what? I'll just do it. I'll do default. Like, All right, man. Squall. Is this guy the main guy? Yep. I don't know. I think Cloud was a cooler name than Squall. Okay. Yeah, that's debatable. Squall like reminds me like a seagull or like a pirate. Is there gonna be a good pirate name, Squall? Why don't you? Well, remember? like a lot of them are like weather based. Like, uh, oh, clouds okay. are like, and then Squall is like a storm, kind of. Right, right. Okay, that's what um, I was thinking, pirate, pirate name. Quisty. Yeah, unfortunately, you can only name the main character in this game. Okay. Well, that's probably good. But you I... can, but you get like Pokemon type creatures and you can name them I'm kind of getting emo vibes from this guy yeah that's not uh, uncommon all right I hit it on three speed I picked it up okay I've seen her before too Like, I'm getting, like, lots of, uh... Suffer's the guy that was fighting him, right? Yep. Okay. Field exam. I think I watched you play this. Probably. Like, I remember this scene. You can understand me. Okay. If you can't understand me, bitch, I'm, a, I'm an enigma wrapped in a mystery. <laughs> okay, now he's kind of he's kind of brooding. You got that necklace on. That's what you were talking about earlier. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just. I'm a straight shooter, it's not like a fear. You just do what you want, man. You see what you want. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get to some action pretty soon. I'll get his I'll get him in the face too. Oh yeah, he bled feather. Okay. I'm guessing I have a healing fam, yeah. Yeah. Um before you do that, okay you're gonna be a control now. Talk to the panel in front of you. Who do I talk to? Like your desk where you're just sitting. You know, this is kind of optional. You'll, you can get your first two guardian forces right now. You'll get them naturally throughout in a few minutes, but so I like probably the tutorial. Just go, just go with the tutorial. All right, yeah, you can just kind of searching. I got to Okay. Let's see. I'm not gonna name her Miss Bukaki. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's, that's the reference to this old Spoonie video. Do you know who Spoonie is? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know who Spoonie is. So, battle operation? Oh, you don't have to go through any more tutorial now. Get out of this. Okay. Go and talk to her now. So, let's, I got two achievements for doing that. You probably saw I'm it. done. You're done. Yeah, sounds like some excitement to me. Oh, he's got excuses. Oh. He seems to be dressed different than everybody else. He's like, uh... Kind of like a bad boy or something. Yeah. This... Times when you change your clothes into something resembling more of what everybody else is wearing. Okay. Most of the time you're in what you're in now. She's just telling you to do what I just told you to do. Okay. And you can take off and get out of here now. Or you can talk to whoever you want, doesn't matter. Okay, I'll take off too. I just wonder if they had anything interesting. I can't remember you playing. Done in Let's Plays this like three, two and a half times I'd say. Like I did a normal run, I did like a hardcore run, and then I posted random videos of the remastered version. Now I would recommend not taking her on a tour of this of the school because it will just take forever. Okay. I want to. There's a certain point I'm hoping that you get to before okay. we finish. Yeah, it's called Balam Garden. Okay. And the you're training to become a seed. Um, I go this way. Yep. You can talk to that guy, and he'll give you some cards. 
I don't know if you're gonna get into the card game this soon or not, but it's like a little side game that like almost everybody in the world plays this game that you can play with with okay. them. Win different cards and stuff and then it's actually a really good way to uh eventually you can turn the cards into abilities and stuff and items. Okay, I remember you usually like to play the card games in the Final Fantasy so I see you play. Yeah. You can play the same game in 14, which is so cool. So it's like a safe play, I guess it? Yep. And once you save, you're going to want to keep going south. The, the right one. I always get. I always go down the center one too. I'm like, what the fuck? This guy looks interesting. It's got a bandana. Looks like he does ninja shit. That was like Naruto. I was gonna say that he looks like a poor man's Naruto. <laughs> a broke ass Naruto. Okay, uh, go to your menu. Can I push, uh, the top button, whatever button is at the top. I'm thinking. Uh, y? Is it Y? Oh, okay. I go to junction. Wall. 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 Yep. Junction. GF. And then click on both of them. Okay. And back out. What's this, uh, what's this now you can, what's this now you can draw from here. That'll give you magic. It'll basically give you charges of a spell. Okay, but I don't have that yet, I'm guessing. You can, no, what you just did is gonna allow you to get from that. I was gonna say that I like a lot of she changed her clothes. And yeah. now this game is notorious for its tutorials, but uh, even don't be bad, don't be sad if like even after reading and going through this tutorial, you don't have like a firm grasp on it. I think a lot of people complain about how com complicated and like unnecessarily complicated it is. Don't worry, you get a veteran with you. This is like, what's that? Yeah. Okay. You can summon them for an attack in battle, and then they also allow you to uh, junction magic spells to your attributes, which, and then turn make your attributes bigger. You know, like equipment, it's kind of like your spells are your equipment, and each spell goes to each stat, and it goes to a different stat. Then they also got other abilities and effects that they can. Effect. It's pretty. I love it. I love it. Okay, so the character in front of you looks okay. Okay. So Charles, man, Charles. Okay. Let's like get magic. Yep. Okay, once you equip that, you can go to that little pink thing and draw some magic from it. Or you can draw from any enemy there is. Okay. 100% magic? Okay. 
pretty good. It goes up. There's up to 60% magic, and that'll that'll get you hitting hard. Like once you figure out the system, this game is actually pretty probably good. one of the easiest easiest ones. She won't let you. Oh yeah, I guess you will. Should I go back or no? Oh, well, you can, but I mean, you could probably draw the same spell from enemies you're about to encounter. Okay, equip all of them with the GF real quick. Jungle Shadow. Get a squall because he wrote both of them on him. Take one of them off. I. I don't think it matters. I gotta take click on it. Yeah. Okay. I'll back out and then press right trigger or right shoulder, I mean. That seems you back. Not working. Can't back out from here. No, you wanna go to you don't wanna put that on the other your other party member, she just joined the party. Should, should oh yeah, this is what you gotta do. Definitely draw GF, uh that'll show off the animation, you might wanna check that out. And then items are gonna be their own way of healing for the for the time being. And you you ain't got no ability yet. Yeah. So wanna have that guy right? Well, you don't want to put that on. You don't want to put that on Quistus, so she can have abilities in battle too. Because otherwise, Should all she's gonna have is just one. Just one. Okay. Because otherwise, Quistus won't have draw G access to draw or GF or anything. Go back to the menu real quick. Junction Quistus. You're, you're just moving your party around right now. Go back to the right. Go to Junction. What's this? Junction. GF. Shiva. There you go. Okay, now give her... What do you want? Magic. Magic. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Alright, now you are ready for battle. Can I go on this road? Um, you can stay on the road and not get any battles, but you're going the wrong way to where you want to go. But I'd recommend gathering up some magic before you go in there. You're, that's the place where you gotta go for the exam. The little cave over there. This cave? Hey, we don't want to draw a bunch of magic from these guys. He's just telling you how to use your gun, brother. Oh, mystery spells. Back them up. We now know that what the spell scan can do. Well, I mean, I don't tell you anything about any enemy. You know, some enemies have elemental weaknesses or strengths, that kind of thing. Do I heal? Give you info after No. But some enemies you can draw cure spells from, which. Your health. Okay. 
Are you the maximum number of spells you uh, have any spells is a hundred? And you're gonna want to have a hundred of each spell because that's how you get the most stat boost out of them. Okay. Like with the spells you have now, um, you might be able to get like one point of an ability boosted. Maybe I should just let you do your own thing. I mean, the tutorial is going to explain everything I just tried to explain probably a lot better than I tried to say it, too. You basically you guarantee yourself a critical hit with uh, Gunblade. Yeah, he, Squall is the only person who can do it. Should I do Gunblade auto on or no? I've never been in this tutorial before. I've never been in this menu before. Just straight. I didn't even know you could turn the auto blade or gun blade onto auto. Damn, I had no idea that this was even an option. I had no idea that there were variations of blade strength. Wow, you're learning something here today would surprise me. Would you, is the indicator worth it? Like trying to like special it? I would. Right now you can only do magics anyway. Okay. Oh man, you're jumping right into it, huh? No, I wouldn't select 10 minutes. You're going to want to build up some magic in here. Oh, because there's a boss at the end of this, and I'm not sure if you're strong enough to beat him yet. 30? Yeah, 30 should be good. Well, those are hats. I thought those were their faces. Yeah, I saw, them, I saw them that way at first, too, and I was like, what? That's a little strange. Yes, sir. 
take as much time as you want to draw as many spells as you can because it'll up your stats and stuff. Although you can't junction into strength right now, so there, there actually might not be as much of a point to it as I'm thinking. I mean, it might, might not make that much of a difference. I mean, you could. A hundred. On each level, or a uh, hundred spells, and then the cap of the skill itself is like 255, but it'll take a long time and a lot of work to actually get yourself to 255. You can stock it up and that basically puts it in your inventory, or you can cast it, you can cast it straight, but... There's not a lot of times when you're going to want to cast anything straight like that. Oh, and another thing to keep in mind, this game, you, leveling is kind of counterintuitive. The higher your enemies level up with you, so if you just sat here and grinded out levels, you'd probably get way too hard. Oh, okay. You're going to want to keep your level as low as possible. Little things like that make this wanna make this a lot of people don't like this game. But the uh, Yep. Summon in your GF. No, we're not far on these guys. Draw something from the bomb, I guess. Use, your, use that GF on these guys. I'll probably take them all out at the same time. Then going into Christmas's uh, setup and putting the uh, GF option in her menu because the guy you're fighting is fire and I was using the fight. She uses ice elemental. We'll just do more damage. I think the game expects you to do a little bit of grinding before you actually fight this guy. But you don't have to. I think it's called a boo. We might be able to get some spirit of magic in this one. Cast them if you ca select cast, but if you stock them, you can just use them on your next turn. How do I draw from this magic thing? Uh, select it, or click on it, like you were talking, like it, as if you were talking to it. You probably want Squawk to do it, right? Um, either one. The one 
through your menu real quick. Junction outside. Let them go to abilities. And I would replace magic with GF. Yeah. Definitely gonna want to get some some cure spells, I'd say, because I think you've only got like five or six potions in your items. Okay, this is a good time to turn on three times speed. So you can sit here until you have a hundred if you want to. What are your thoughts so far, man? What are your thoughts? What? What are your thoughts on so far? Yeah. Kind of Kill this guy and go find somebody with fear. Am I doing too much backseat driving or backseat gaming or no, what? I, it's, uh, it's okay. I'm like, I don't really understand it, but I, I kind of do. Okay, so I get the cure magic out of that. Yeah, I might have to cure. I'm not positive. This is the question for Mark 1. I forgot what that other spell that he got. It's the mystery one. Oh, Blizzard, which will help you out against the boss. Yeah, I'll get him on a lot of Blizzard stuff. So. Ah, oh, man, if I'm... Yeah. Not all bosses have a weakness like that, but a lot of them do. Like, fight a mechanical spider. You lose just one. If this guy doesn't have cure, then you might be a little bit boned, because... Okay, yeah, I don't think anybody in this cave has cure. You should have to go by the seat of your pants. That might teach Quistus a uh, limit break, which is um, an ability that a limit breaks can be used in this game when your characters are critical HP, like desperation moves, kind of. Oh, you can't. Um, I toss one to 
like. You do have Phoenix down, so that'll help if you die. So probably just hold it. Um, I I use one on Squall real quick. This Quistus isn't too low. Just want to make sure you get the most out of them. Okay. Um, definitely Chris's is GF. Yeah. I want to turn off three times speed now. Well, shit. Squall doesn't have magic, so we can't cast any of his spells. So your best bet is just straight attacking with him. Not an attractive girl. Psyching them out, man. You're psyching the boss out. You got like that, uh. His GF is probably not that good. Well, he is a GF. Okay. As soon as you beat him, you'll be able to equip him. And he will give you Strength Junction, which you can use to up your strength. Is this a good idea? Try it out. It'll do, more than, it'll do a lot more damage than your physical attack, that's for sure. You can use your GF as many times as you want. The only problem is you gotta sit through the animation. Okay. Not really yet. Well, when you're summoning the GF, your HP is replaced by the GF so each piece of the character takes any attacks during that time. The GF will take the damage, and if somehow the GF dies, then you can't summon it anymore. Hey, what the hell does he forgot? Maybe he has a cure. Oh shit, press no go back. Press left on attack. Press right on attack. And you can use your limit break. So hold down right. There you go. Probably cure. No, I don't think they bone me that bad. I know I like cast a spell, but draw that shit. You can cast it if you want. Yep. Cure. You're gonna win. I used to have a toy of this different guy. His leg fell off real sadly. What's that? Here. How are we doing on time? It's weird. It's better 
I wouldn't say it's more complex, but it's definitely different than 7. Maybe a little bit more complex, I don't know. Maybe if you scanned him, or you just beat him. I'm not positive it will for bosses, but definitely will for any other random mob. What's the G returner? It'll bring your it's like a it'll bring your GF back to life if it dies. Okay. And then you get a card for the card game, which So I get the this guy then, right? He's my GF now. Yep. And another tutorial! Now this can give like your normal attacks elemental properties, so oh, okay. you can be doing. And you can also give yourself elemental defenses. That's probably good for certain bosses. True. Yeah. Eventually there are some GFs that allow you to equip 3 or 4 defenses, okay. but only one attack at, at any time, I think. This concludes the tutorial. Now that cast ability, do I have that forever, that here? Or no? That um, no. You, you would have needed to stock them. And then go into your menu, you can put magic on your uh, options, or your okay. abilities. Because yeah, when you stock all this magic, but you don't have the magic option in your menu right now. I think you're getting the hang of it. We don't do this. It's very nice.
we really didn't want to put on this work. No, you can equip as many GFs as you want to each character, but there are not a limited number of them. Okay. Let's put that thunder on your attack and just watch his strength go up. Sacrifice item. Magic. Yeah. Okay. Like as long as one person, yeah, as long as one person has item at least, should be good. Yeah, casting is weaker than than casting yourself with magic. But if you cast it from a draw, it's weaker than casting it from magic yourself that you've stacked up. You kind of get random results, I find. I try casting magic on this guy. Was it that signal? There you go. Now you're walking together. That was pretty effective. Do I like take her back? Uh, yeah. Probably get to the safe point. You can save on the world map if you want to get out of here right now. Well, you're on the world map right now, so just you can save anywhere on the world map. That is. That just makes your summoning of it stronger. Now, if you want to get deep into it, you can change with what the GFs are going to learn, which is I would recommend it if you're planning on getting too deep into this game. But if it's just like a one and done, I'd say piss on it. Cool. Like, yeah, it's basically, it. I think, I kind of like this format, like, I pick something, you pick something. Because I wouldn't yeah. have, I wouldn't have played this had, uh, can I save from here and save it? Okay, I gotta go to save. No, you got go out, there was a save point right in the lobby. Back where we came from? No, oh. Keep, Keep going, going north. north. You can get cure from that draw point if you wanted. I do want to. Back and forth, back and forth. So I can now cast cure six of them? Mm -hmm. Can I draw yep. from it again? No. Okay. Maybe it recharges it for a while, but I, don't, I have no idea what the factors are that dictate when they recharge. Normally those are, you only draw from them once. This probably wasn't the right way, but probably, probably was to do with the world map, right? Am I going the right way? Yeah. Okay. There, there's a safe way. Does this heal me? No. Is it saved? No, uh, go back to it. Touch it. Now go to the menu. Now, now save is unlocked. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, the game also auto saves, I guess. So that's cool. Cool. All right. Well, I'm out. Probably just. Uh, let's see. That was actually that was actually pretty good. I mean, like. I think you got to probably play it a few t couple. Uh, for a while. Definitely a learning curve, but to figure that out. I think you did well. I wasn't I wasn't sure you were gonna beat Ifrit, but then because I forgot that he has cure himself.
and you can draw from it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't like things... It wasn't, like, that difficult, but it wasn't, uh... I don't know, it seemed like the right amount for, like, the first, the first level. Like, obviously I didn't do it perfect, but it, uh... Still... I think you did well. Yeah. So I'd play it again, if that's something you wanted to do. Okay. Oh, it's already 6 p.m. Yeah. This has just flown by. Well, do that.